Hey all, welcome back to SSX Blur. I'm Insetic, with me on this video is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? And Zindictive. Sup lads? We're continuing in the tournaments. We did all those freestyle ones, now we're doing some racing action. Help yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, no. Still Nothing. only one of them. Mm. Well, we're gearing up. Getting yeah. pretty cool. So, uh, the first one is gonna be, you know, some racing. Uh, you know, the Rat Races Tournament. You'll see that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Guys. We're in podcast I, mode. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah pretty I, much. I, oh, right. Uh, okay, that's just an effect at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was like, there's no way. You turned these videos a little <laughs> bit down. There's no fucking way. <laughs> it starts to turn the game yeah. up just because it's going to be a meme. The game actually has a secret snow blindness mechanic <laughs> where if you, you know, play it too long without putting on sunglasses, uh, your character will start going blind. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know around the time like when the Wii came out, they were always telling you like take a break. So like <laughs> oh my that, God. that's the take a break oh, mechanic. The game becomes unplayable for a bit. Nothing beats the excitement of racing. Really, yeah. I can think of other things. Stunts. Yeah. A oh, really crazy. good sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Wild Tree Fun. Again, it's like if you only played the tournaments, or at least didn't play Wild Tree Fun to get, you know, the points needed to unlock the first one, then hey, here it is. Mm. So all you, you just need to be oh, the... Oh shit, fire. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I guess that's kind of nice. If you, A, need to play this game, and also, B, want to put in as little time as possible. Yeah, like, it, if you have to beat it as a punishment. That, like, <laughs> that, like yeah, at the very start of your playthrough, you do need to play a few single events to get the points to unlock the first tournament. But then, like, if you win those, you know, each tournament gives you enough leaderboard points to unlock the next one without having to go do other things in between. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you were gonna talk about something, like... I was, I was just gonna say, I'm actually digging this music. Yeah, it's pretty um, cool, honestly. Yeah, I like, I like some the, the music tracks, choices. Some of the music I haven't really liked, I felt it's very generic. And this one, it does feel kind of generic, but like... I don't know, it's got a nice, steady rhythm to it that's... Yeah, that's I think nice. the soundtrack of this game is like, in between, eh, and alright. Yeah, exactly. And like, I think I'll get tired of this track in about a minute, but like... It's at least nice for the start, so maybe they'll change it up. Hopefully. Yeah, and, and like, on YouTube, you can find, like, either the album that all of these are on, uh -huh. or just, like, all the songs put back to back, but, you know, with, like, song names and, right. you know, mm. the full length of the songs, so that gives them a little more information uh, yeah. than just things that play <laughs> yeah. in no discernible order and without any information you know, in the game. Mm -hmm. mm. Things that play. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what it is. We've described it as, like, Instagram music. Mm -hmm. Like, it's yeah. so weird. Oh my god, it's so fucking hard to find songs when you don't have any lyrics to go from. And, like, like sometimes it's like, Shazam's not gonna work, because it's like, you don't think to look it up until much later, and then you're like, what's that song that goes ba da 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 Like, that's not gonna work as a Google search. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is, oh, is this song that goes da 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 da? Yeah, it's like no, not ba da da da. I want ba da da da. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, I know that song. It's the one where it's like, don't drop that da da da. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no, not that one. <laughs> not yeah. don't drop it. It's like, pick up the da da da. Yeah. <laughs> This is such a stupid video. No, I mean, I can't remember what it's called, but there was a song where it was like, Don't drop that dun da da Don't, oh, yeah. don't drop that dun da da Like, I was oh, trying yeah. to reference that, but I guess oh, I didn't I do enough. Yeah. Well, I thought you were just making something up. Yeah, no, it's a reference from the sick and twisted mind of, of me. <laughs> yeah, if you, know? you knew what was yeah, going yeah. on inside the mind of <laughs> setting 47, you would fucking freak out. Yeah, and then it zooms in and it's some Nelly song from 2004 <laughs> that I briefly <laughs> remember for 10 seconds before forgetting again. Oh my that's, god, that's Nelly what's song. going on in the sick and twisted mind of Setting 47. Oh, that's yeah. sick. Oh, oh yeah. I'm yeah. random song things. Oh, yeah, I remember they released that song. Okay, enough thinking about that. Yep. <laughs> Mac got Mac. nuclear, bro. Yeah. He's a danger. Uh -huh. 
Well. Yeah, Wild Tree Fun. It's it's all right. It's Wild it's Tree. It's fun. Yeah. Hey, guess what? We're doing Proud Powder Slalom again. Uh, Why? Uh, no, no. What? Why is like this one of the things that shows up twice in Sorry. the tournaments? Oh god. It's not it's even flags. like it's it's it, a race tournament and they have a slalom in it. Why? They have a slalom and they made you do it before, but they're making they you have it's the not worst even a different one. one. It's like that thing where like, oh, uh, you know, of course, since it's oh the worst event, it happens to be the one where you do it twice. But there are other things you do twice in this game. But that aren't like, shit. That aren't shit. But it's like, of the things that are shit, this is the one where you just have to do it twice. Why do Look, they even we put the made multipliers this. around? We're proud of it. We're gonna make you do this 50 times if we have to until you fucking like it. That's yeah. what they're saying. That's what they're telling you. They're telling you, we made a thing. You, I hope you like it. And you're like, oh... And no, I'm not going to do it any better the second time around. Yeah. I wasn't- oh. I didn't want to do it the second time around. Yeah. I can't believe, like, if they're going to put- sl I don't think they should put any slalom events oh my in the God. game. Actually, uh, so- so Queenie, again, I mentioned Queenie, thank you. You know, shout out, she did the Aztec Explorer playthrough that was before this one. Sent me an old, old, old video of someone, like, getting a platinum time on this event. Like, what racing God. it like a god, and it- I, I saw it and I, I was like, just like, what? Like, I don't think I could even recreate that or understand that. That but, sounds awful. I don't you know because it's, it's one life. thing if like you don't like something for a while, but then you figure it out. Like again, I feel guilty for some of the parts in Amped 2 that I got really, sure. really annoyed at and was like, why do they have to do this twice? And then I figured it out. But here, I think I'm going to stay annoyed because it's still just so bad to play. Yeah. Like... I, I have honestly also been in the seat of, like, mastering shit that I don't like, like... Oh, yeah, that's true. Bike. I guess you've for sure been there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, you play all the garbage that, like, <laughs> I don't even know about. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just this sort of shit I'm not shocked by of somebody taking their time, probably a lot of time, trying to platinum this. This. And they yeah. just... I can already understand the feeling they're probably going through of like, fucking finally. Yeah. It's, just it's honestly baffling to me how the flags are so far apart in the back half and then like in the first half, it's shit. It's yeah. just shit. Yeah. And it's like, why did you do this? Like, if you removed half these flags, the game, this would be maybe not great, but it would be like playable. Yeah, better. Again, this first drop is already like, bad. You just don't get set up for the first one at all, and you, like, cannot control... I mean, sure, you push off, but the first drop happens so fast, you basically have no input on how far you go or where you land. God, I mean, to be fair, motion I, controls. Yeah, to be fair, I don't think they even fought that much through of this one. I mean, to start off, what's the fucking point of the free I mean, okay, time okay, to start I, off I, with? I don't, I, don't want, I don't want this to be a yelling point for this. So, like, I, I am... A little better at it, as you can see. Yeah, you, know? you yeah. did get a little better. Like I, I still don't want to do it. Well, but... This part, this part, I think is actually looks like it could. This is the the proof of concept, right? I mean, yeah. this, this part's still maybe a little bit, but like, so like slowing down a whole lot and doing real tiny jumps when you're slowed way down to reset your guy, because yeah. otherwise, like. You'll be flying too fast. Or, yeah. or otherwise, like, you'll wish that, you, you know, you'll be, like, going up the mountain and you think you'll turn, you know, stop and turn around at any moment, but you, like, just won't. So force it by jumping and yeah. basically forcing your guy to hit the ground and then start going downhill immediately. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, really think about, like, how... How likely do you think it is that they planned to have slalom events at all? Because I'm starting to think that maybe they just always had like something else in mind and then First didn't have place. time and just sent like an intern to throw flags down and then you know like click 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 okay we've made a new event oh we need two things fuck it we have one week to ship put it in as both i feel like what happened is that they put on like all the multipliers and such made this like a stunt track and then they yeah. realized this is kind of short how can we elongate this Flags. Flags, yeah. They'll still do tricks, right? Like, we'll give them time to do tricks. No. I don't want to uh, risk it even slightly. Okay, this is know. actually a cool jump. Yeah, this is a great jump. I love yeah, this. Yeah, on the rocks. Uh, I mean, yeah, all these tracks are yeah. from uh, 
Yeah. Three Which and on tour. Three it is cool to see him again. Yeah. Where you he can't see him. He went Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's, yeah, it's it's a little interesting. Oh, wow. I didn't see... Weird. Sorry, I just... I didn't see the big statue head in the back. Uh, on the left. When you were... Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah. good set design here. I think it's supposed to be like Himalayan, like, ruins. Like yeah, a, I think a Buddhist it is. temple, because like you can see in the distance there are rock struck like stone structures. Yeah, I think there's a I think there is a temple around here. I can see like a torch around. What the yeah, which oh. oh. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. I just uh I never even really got the theming. Actually that's the thing. This game it doesn't do poorly, I just don't didn't really feel it. In the other games, the uh, the theming of each level was very strong. You know, like mm. okay, this part is clearly a very um, like this is a, a, like a cool arena of some kind, or this is a you know a track that's managed by you know people, and there's people in the stands, and there's like advertisements and shit. But like, oh, here's a temple. But yep. like, there we're suddenly back into just snow and ice, and like I didn't get a real feeling of a temple like i think it's serenity in tw ssx 2012 that was like another temple theming thing and like i love that one that's a great that's a really cool i mean i remember it all these years you know yeah it's almost I feel 10 like, years later and i still remember the name i feel like for the most part there's ideas to have themes going on these levels and such mm -hmm. but it's not showing up too much it's only like in yeah. bits and pieces here it's and kind there. of in the background but like I mean, I guess that's kind of... I don't know, that's not the worst thing in the world. Nah, I, I feel like, been, honestly, you know, distracting, yeah. putting the importance in the course first rather than just all the other crap is more yeah. important. Yeah. And I mean, just because it's... Well, did you say the physics are pulled from On Tour 3? Yeah, physics from On Tour. Yeah, so, I don't know, I mean, like... Some of the tracks, you may need to, like, adjust to make the physics work best on them. Mm. But, like, I don't know, the, the track design is mostly done for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I think, Probably like, by you be before. Yeah. Physics were similar enough between 3 and on tour that it's not like, oh, this is just a, suddenly a really rough section. Sorry, I'm, I'm being really quiet because, like, this is so much more blindingly white than I remember. Oh. oh. But I guess... That's a really good cool this track, track that much. <laughs> Like, maybe if you have, like, an effect that you're going to put on the video, maybe just give the viewer, like, a chance to see I already what have. it's like. Yeah, like, for you guys. No, no, I, I mean, like, right now, oh. what, you know, like, eh. uh, in, mm. when they're listening to this, when they're watching this, if you apply a filter on top in addition, you can just be like, this is what we saw. Yeah. This is the raw footage or whatever. But I don't know. All um, right. Yeah, this is a lot brighter. I didn't want to comment on it because I was like, I don't know, maybe he just forgot he didn't put the filter on. But you have put the filter on. No, I definitely have. Yeah. Oh. Like, yeah. That's weird. I, I feel like if the controls with like motion and such were better, and the brightness wasn't this so much, yeah. This game could actually be kind of decent, honestly. I feel I mean, like that's blurred. because you're describing on tour. Yeah. Yeah. This I, this would never be a sixty dollar game, but I don't know what they sold it as when it first came out. Yeah. yeah like, I mean, I can look it up if you want, but but again, yeah, like this is. If this is a small child's first SSX game, this is a really rough introduction because mm. of the motion controls. That's yeah. true. They're not going to understand how this all worked in terms of, you know, having really great, really smooth controller controls and then also being a really great, really smooth series with everything else. That's yeah. true. I, again, like, I understand the idea of motion controls and I think it could have worked. It's just the execution was not really that great. But I do admire the fact that even went for motion controls in the first place, because I feel like something like this can work with motion controls. It's just... The way they yeah. handled it is... Eh. And you know what? I'll even say, like, they're probably the best they could be. Like, mm. some things I'm not complaining about at all. Yeah. Well, or, or I'm just saying, like, well, accepting that it is motion controls, da-da-da. Like, sure, we've complained about, like, Ubers being more complicated and not registering. But, like, when I want to turn, when I want to mm. do flips and spins, you know, 
Is they yeah. figured out they did figured out ways for that that still feels like okay I did an input and it is accepting it and doing that right like it's consistent with the limits of motion controls and now yes uh, this is Stockholm syndrome I guess uh, with the <laughs> limits of motion controls some things were done well enough yeah mm. as good as they could be I'm wondering like okay so the the best thing about the Wii Mount as far as game interface devices, is that you could point at but things you wanted to click on on the screen, right? That's great. That changed the way Nintendo has done menus in their games since then, because uh, it's much more like a PC now, right? Yeah. Oh, slalom on Ruthless? Uh, yeah, so next thing, and here's the third slalom event. And look at this, I actually think this is the best one. Because this is oh, more wow. about squeezing yourself into narrow segments but, you know, the flags aren't immediately right next to each other. Oh. Maybe there are some dickish spots, but, like, look, it's it's about kind of going down this rough, rocky kind of area at the start. Yeah, this and is... Squeezing yourself yeah. back and forth. And also, like, yeah, Ruthless, I think, has had the biggest mood change. Like, mm. sure, they didn't change the actual level layout, but they made it a lot more foggy. And, like, yeah. you can't really see where you're going. If you look back at Ruthless and SSX3, it was, you know, yeah, really snowy, but still pretty clear. Whereas definitely here, yeah, they have that thick fog at the very top, and right. that really makes that first segment with all the narrow paths and stuff seem really daunting. And it's kind yeah. of daunting, intense, but it's not like scary to the point where you don't want to play. It's not anxiety-inducing. Yeah, and honestly, and this, is, this is the. I said the other thing was proof of concept. This is the proof of concept, right? Yeah, you uh, could make a whole event out of well-designed, planned for slalom events. Honestly, the brightness actually like assists with the whole fog thing really that was going on beforehand. That. Like, yeah, I think that might have been the best. The fact that it's blinding I've seen. and like hard to see actually works for the effect yeah, they were going for. Yeah, because it's like the snow is in your face. That's really cool. Yeah, I really liked that. And see, like, there's enough space here that we get a little bit of the set pieces and stuff. That's nice. Yeah, like where the flags are close to each other, it's on kind of a, like a flat slope or somewhere where you can really turn in between them. Right. And then where it is, you know, like really downhill, they put the flags far enough away. And, and yeah, you see that you can, you know, like you can kind of go crash into the flags mm -hmm. and that'll, that'll work. Count. Now we'll you'll go see over in, them. Yeah. in this mm. recording, like you'll see that I actually got more, I guess, kind of glitches where I did go on the right, the correct side, but the game then penalized me anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely I saw know. that. That was huh. that's gonna be kind of weird, but otherwise, mm. yeah. Again, I I think this event is fine. Yeah, yeah, I feel like the first slalom thing where it was like all close together and it's like a small map and such. I feel like that might have been like a sort of test in a way to see if it can mm. work out. And then like things like ruthless here are like them really this pouring well the fun into it. Yeah, yeah, and just making something good with it. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, I just wanted to ask you guys, so like, on PC, we're getting more extreme sports games these days, right? Like, mm -hmm. just they're starting to come back a little bit. And they're mostly simulation stuff, but like, uh, or at least very simulation focused. But I'm wondering, like, keyboard and mouse, could you use the mouse like a kind of motion controls and like, do tricks with it? It like, would be incredibly that... awkward. I f but that's just what they they said about motion no controls in the way. Wii. Yeah. And Connor was just saying how, like, doing jump flips and spins and turning, that feels fine. Right? So I feel like maybe if you made it so, like, one of the mouse buttons they, set, I don't know, does something, and then the other mouse button does something else, they, you know? I, I will say that with the caveat of... You have to find a motion controls way to do this. Right, yeah. They found pretty good pretty good ways for you oh. know for those things. Like, yeah, flicking the 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 Weebote quickly up or down or to the left or right. Um yeah. but I would still rather hold a controller and just you know, yeah. hold down to jump or hold yeah. down to prep for jumping and hold the D-pad, you know, down and left to be prepared to do a backflip and spin to the left. I yeah. would still prefer that over any motion controls or having to use the mouse for anything. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Like, I would honestly think that if any game was going to have motion controls for PC for a game like this, it would, for the most part, just be like VR. 
Uh, oh yeah. Because I feel like any time with the controls, it would just be camera for mouse, or yeah. like the simulator game is lately, just use a controller. Right. I I don't know. I was just thinking like uh, like on on like I I just really I get really interested in games that like really change up the way. Uh, people have historically used controls mm. like like uh, you know I've talked about the uh, oh my gosh I'm forgetting the name of the game again uh, Connor what was that first person shooter with the really weird controls something point uh, oh check counterpoint something H hold break, on po I don't know um I feel like I might know what body you're talking count. about body count oh okay wait yeah, I, I, yeah how was body yeah. count body count was that weird first person shooter where um, when you hold the aim down sights button your right stick doesn't look around, instead it leans around, or no, your oh, left yeah. stick leans around, right? So, to crouch, you would hold, Zin, imagine in your hand, to crouch, you're holding left trigger and pulling mm -hmm. the left thumbstick down. Mm -hmm. And then, like, when you want to pop up out of cover, you would, like, hold the left thumbstick up, and then, like, left and right, while you're holding left trigger, in order to, like, lean around corners. But that also means you can't move while aimed down sights. I have actually sort of played something like that with a different game. I can't remember the name of it, but mm. I do know what you're talking about. I do know yeah. the feel of it. I and think I, I know Body Count as well, so yeah, yeah. It's a weird game that like came out and nobody played it and then it went away. And so mm. like I remember playing, I played the demo and then I played a little bit of the game when it came out. Um, because my roommate at the time had had a copy. Um, and uh, it's a weird game, and uh, there's actually some weird history with it, too, because, like, the guys who made it had some drama. There's some YouTubers made some something about it. But yeah, right. I just, like, really like looking at those games that have, like, completely changed how, how the controls are done or, like, just tried something really new. You know, it's the same, it's the same thing that I like about Kojima, right, where he'll just, like... Do something really weird and new and, like, see how it goes, you know? Yeah. Instead of just playing it safe. Yeah, I, I like the experimentation stuff that goes on with controls mm -hmm. and gameplay and such as well. I was yeah. actually thinking right now, if you would somewhat change how the motion controls really were for doing Ubers and such, and you had this for the Switch, uh -huh. how would this game really fare compared to uh right now with the Wii and such? I'll I'll be honest. I have I don't actually know what motion controls, if any, are are actually on the Switch because I don't have one. It would right? essentially be because it's gyros. There's no real pointing thing going on. Okay. It would be more of movement rather than yeah. pointing the screen. But there's also like on each little controller thing, like on each Joy-Con, there's supposed to be enough buttons that you can you can like play Smash, for example. Mm. Like, right? So, like, I don't know how you have enough buttons for that and whether or not you would have enough buttons to map everything you do um, in this game onto those. You may not need motion controls. Yeah, I, w I would say maybe the motion controls could be an optional thing, and you would have, like, if you don't want motion controls, you can just switch to a different scheme, and you can just play it normally. Play it without, yeah. Yeah. I think it would be an opt-in thing rather than an opt-out. Yeah. If and they I ported this to the Switch. I Which thought they that would be definitely a good option. Won't. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's a sad thing. <laughs> but I, I feel mean, like, like if they ever did, that would be like the best option, probably the best port for this game, because you can turn off the motion controls and just play it normally, and it would also fix the brightness. I mean, I wonder, like, Tony Hawk 1 and 2 remake, what about that treatment for the SSX series? Would you, would you like that, Connor? Uh... And I yeah. mean, obviously, they're they're, <laughs> yeah. they're pretty different from each other. The game, you know, the SSX game. So I don't know how you would group them up if you uh, wanted to make SSX them multiple and releases. SSX and SSX Tricky are the same. It's just SSX Tricky is like an update of SSX. F okay. It'd be more like yeah. Tricky and Free. One and Tricky put together. I'm thinking like one and Tricky, three and on tour together, and then uh, just a remaster of 2012. Yeah, I mean, I I hate to kind of do just like. Erase this game, but again, it is basically just take the components of the previous games, put motion controls in, change the art style. Like yeah. it did not bring anything uh, oh, new I to didn't the even table in terms of new levels or whatever. So, uh, well, I mean, you were talking yeah. about remastering this game for no, know, no, Switch, uh, and I mean, no, no. I meant 
Oh, I'm, I get... No, no, I don't... I don't think... Well, yeah, okay, I see. Uh, so, yeah, so, like, SSX3, yeah, it, it, it was put as, like, a downloadable, you know, Xbox original game you can right, buy from the store. Mm. Um, but one and Tricky are still not. Not, uh, You yeah. know, they're still stuck in the past, which, again, is kind of weird, because, like... You know, 3 is where it started getting, like, well, actual licensed music, actual brands. You know, you go back to 1 huh. and Tricky, it's all fictional. You know, all fictional That's characters. True. Well, hmm. sure, I guess DJ Rozelle is real, but, you know, not, yeah. like, uh, you, the you rest know, that of it same is, kind yeah. of branding and stuff you'd think would be much harder to get relicensed. That's true, yeah. But I don't know, like, so I, I guess let me think about, like, in terms of if they're going to do a remake, you know, in, in the hypothetical yeah. that it's a remake in the same style rather right. than just porting it again. I mean, I, I think that would be great because it would be like, yeah, you know, we're not going to try to cater at all to all the simulation stuff that's going on. Yeah, want, that's true. want to make a straight-up arcade game, you know, which which I kind of do want to see. I mean, That's you know, true. Now, now that's, that's the kind of thing. Let me put this out on, like record and i still feel like i don't have the words to describe it but like yeah at e3 earlier this summer we saw that trailer for shredders and it's like oh the shredders devs specifically said like they're taking you know they were inspired by the amped series from long ago yeah and i watched the shredders trailer and i didn't really see that like it just i think now that we have enough of those kind of you know, bringing extreme sports back, but with some kind of simulation feel. You know, we've got Riders of Public, Steam, yeah. uh, Shredders, other stuff. It almost kind of looked the same as everything else. Mm -hmm. Like nothing really set it apart. That's, that's I, the feeling I've been getting from basically all of these games. Like, yeah, I yeah, look they, at all of them, and I all I can the only differences I'm spotting are, and like this is just my opinion. The only differences I'm spotting are what you're riding. You know, like, oh, on this one you're on skis. Yeah. Oh, on this one you can do both. Like, Yeah, so it's like, can someone please make a much more arcade-y, uh, yeah. you know, kind of experience of game? We've it's gotten like, the super simulation ones like, um, fuck, oh no. What's that skateboarding one? Oh, Session God, uh, Skater XL. Session, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, we've got, like, Session for the super simulation-y so yeah. now, like, can someone please make a much more arcadey? You know, one? you know, you know. It's funny. I, I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, when we look at old graphics, right? Like, uh, not this game specifically, like, but like, let's let's say, uh, you know, a Medal of Honor, right? That's a game that was trying to look realistic, and like on the original Xbox, the graphics could only do so much. So now, if they make a Medal of Honor game, they try to make the graphics look crazy good. Because, basically, they were working within a limitation. But, like, when we look back at these older games that are, like, really arcade -y compared to, like, these new simulation-y things, it feels like they're saying, oh, but it's better now because it's realistic. But, like, it's not like they accidentally made it unrealistic. They did that on purpose. Like, did that because that was their style, not because they made a mistake. You Quite know? honestly, this reminds me of the 13 remake that happened, where the original is very cartoony and cell shaded and then they remade or remastered it, and they just uh. made it look realistic and got rid of the cell shade and it just, it was the worst game because so, of it. Wait, so the, the remaster had a different art style, basically completely? Yeah, they tried to make it look more real, like more huh. high def and such, when it just wasn't of the style at all and just made the game yeah. look worse. Actually, that's basically this, that's kind of the same thing that happened with Halo One Anniversary. Because, oh, well, in my opinion, but like, I, I know largely people like the original Halo One a lot better. Um, Connor, do you do you agree with that? Because uh, I think Halo One Anniversary looks a little rough. It looks a little weird. Halo Two Anniversary, I think, looks incredible. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like with Halo One and Two Anniversary. What was it? That Halo 1 Anniversary's outdoor areas looked amazing. Uh -huh. Um, or wait. One of those, the outdoor looked great, the indoor didn't look nearly as good. Yeah. And in the other one, it was like the opposite. Yeah, Halo but, 2, the outdoors looked incredible, and then, like, the indoors were, like, kind of weird and dark. Yeah. Um, Alright, yeah, that was, uh, some more tournaments, and next time we'll actually be going to the final one.
will be oh, beating shit. the game. Oh, yeah, snap. Again, pretty quick if you just go through the tournaments. So yeah, join us then on SS Explorer.